you're allowed to do those things. That's not a big deal, man. But if you walk around with little tiny teacup dogs wearing pink shirts and tight pants, people are going to start asking questions. And that's that tongue-in-cheek aspect of, you know, are you really being what a man needs to be? Uh, you're allowed to do any of those things. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Um, but just be ready for the questions. That's it. And I had the idea to take those commandments, you know, those things that, that you really want to instill within young men and turning that into a curriculum. And I thought it'd be a great idea, but it's so attached at the hip to those more salty tongue in cheek concepts of the book that I'm not even going to touch that. I don't want that to bleed into my professional life on any level. So I'm going to just let it die. All right, well, there's kind of a theme throughout the book where it seems to kind of uh, clash with the idea of bullying prevention. There might be some things in there, like I said, on that tongue-in-cheek side of the book that are written as a joke. There might be some things, and like I said, um, it was written in two months, it was written as a joke, um, and it, it's kind of embarrassing. You want to distance yourself, but it's like posting something on the internet, man. That shit doesn't go away. It stays out there forever, so, you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, I'll stand by the commandments, uh, and I'll laugh at the rest of it, and that's pretty much the intention of it. All right. Okay, you know, all of it, first of all, tongue-in-cheek, 90% of it was your friends treating you in certain ways. You know, when you walk around with teacup dogs and pink shirts and tight pants, um, and trust me, your friends are gonna get you. Um, and that's what that was all about. You know, bullying is, is, is not dealing with friends. Bullying is trying to intentionally harm other people. Uh, and I don't think that was the intent of those at all. Uh, and then you referenced the other thing, the smackdown again from the, the women that are gonna beat, a men, beat men. And, and again, that's just like, dude, you're not allowed to hit women. Um, so if you're going to be with somebody that's going to beat you, you need to just sit back and take it. Uh, that's the bed you make. Um, but the number one rule, do not put your hands on anybody, uh, but especially women and especially children. So mm -hmm. that's it. So on the commandment side of things, you know, I stand tall in that saddle and you, you can be proud of those things that you write about. But on the other side, it stains all of it. So it, it, it's a tongue-in-cheek tongue in effort that uh, you wish you didn't do. That's well, about that, it. And I had yet to even become this guy, and I'm still kind of bartending when I'm writing this book, so you don't think about how these things could come back and, and professionally, you know, not be, uh, you know, on par with what you do. And well, that's why I'm meeting with you today. So you found this dichotomy out there, wanted to get to the bottom of it. I hope that's not going to be a story that Bully Prevention Guy has this old book out there that's got all this negative stuff in it, because like I said, that's tongue in cheek. So if that's going to be a story that gets out there that makes me look bad, you know, that's not, uh, you, know, you do what you feel you need to do, but man, that's a, that's a low blow, um, you know, given what you would know. Uh, what's the point of putting a joke out there like that, um, especially when you can see what the intent behind each one of those comments are, which is not, you know, it's not espousing violence against anybody, uh, nor is it espousing gay bashing on any level at all. Uh, you know, what we refer to as gay in there is that... Uh, uh, you know, we talk about the pink clothes and the tight pants and all that stuff. And we even, I, we, I even mentioned in the book, it's not about homosexuality at all. It's about being less masculine in, in that regard. So you actually like gay people because they leave more women for the rest of us. <laughs> Again, that's just tongue in cheek. And that the uh, people are people. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I hope that would be the one. I wouldn't want anyone to think after they, because you're talking about my hometown here, right? You're talking about my character, a lifetime of what I've built here. Um, and I think I've got a solid reputation amongst my friends, the people that know me, and the people that barely know me um, as being a good, solid dude. Uh, so I would take a, you know, I'd have a lot of problems with anybody that, that puts things out there that stains that reputation. I've done enough with that book to stain my own things, but it is tongue-in-cheek. Uh, if you're going to drag that back up, I just hope that that's what bleeds through at the end of the day. Um, you know, but, you know, they're, they're, honesty is a tricky one. You know, here I am with my own shovel digging my own hole right now because of honesty. You know, but in, in a lot of other cases, I think people would be perfectly justified to clam up, to not want to say things in fear that it might harm them, you know, but is that being honest? You know, that, that, that's a tough thing to balance for a lot of people. And it's a tough concept, especially when you talk to kids about that, because certain kid, you know, every kid knows that there are certain times when you're going to lie uh, to protect your own privacy, to protect other people's feelings. So that's a tough one to navigate for kids when you talk about character education. That's tough to sit here and deal with right now as an adult. I get so embarrassed, honestly, when you talk about that other stuff. And I have been since, you know, pretty much I saw it in print. 
It's one thing for you to write it. It's one thing to have a manuscript, but it's another thing. And then that picture that's on the back cover, you freaking kidding me? I just had some kid come in from a photography class in Building 9 at Manatee High School and snapped the photo and sent that in. No sane person is gonna use that, that picture in a book. So that ought to be evidence right there that, man, I did not give one ounce of concern to what was inside of that thing. Uh, Cause on the outside of it, it's hideous. The last uh, parallel I found was between um, your thoughts in the book, possibly tongue in cheek, and um, your role in forming the uh, code of conduct, which in includes the dress code. Mm -hmm. um, the more fancy something is, the more girly it becomes. Um, as long as there's an association with any feminine attribute, then a guy can and will should be teased for incorporating it into his image. Uh, 80s hair bands would be considered flamboyantly gay or shredded by male friends. Um, and oh there should be no shame in getting busted staring at a pair of melons that have been laid out there for the whole world to see so I thought I found some parallels <sighs> between the dress code <laughs> thank you please don't use those things I will be hated universally by women in my district uh, again tongue in cheek if that's the question that you're asking that's the answer it's obvious <laughs> hopefully um, you know it's all come, come across as a joke so but uh, I guess we'll have to see how it falls out. <laughs>